the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was established over 110 years ago to test new technologies. <laughs> Now, self-driving cars are the next grand challenge in automotive technology. But we're still a ways away from having the autonomous vehicle that can drive anywhere and everywhere. We knew that there was a major leap that had to be taken. What better way to do that than a high-speed race at the most famous racetrack in the world? The Indy Autonomous Challenge, it's unlike any other challenge. 30 teams from around the world, 20 laps, a million dollar grand prize. Our cars here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway touch 240 miles an hour. The minute that car is on the track, it has to control itself entirely. It's racing, but in a futuristic way. We've known for years that prize competitions can drive innovation. Competitions are great places to do this because once you get competitive, you most likely will stop sleeping to make sure you win. The DARPA Grand Challenge led to tremendous advancements in the industry. Sebastian Thrun, who won that DARPA Grand Challenge, said, you know, you've got to create some type of autonomous vehicle competition that would bring back the excitement of the DARPA Grand Challenge. The real challenge is the software. How do you take the information that's coming in from these sensors, compute it, and make decisions that are decisions that are typically made by a human? We had more than 30 teams coming from 14 U.S. states and representing 11 countries sign up. University students looked at this problem with fresh new eyes. We are certain that the future of our racing is going to involve drivers and cars. But if we can go 240 miles an hour and keep cars from colliding, then surely we can make highway traffic safer is it's all of these universities from around the world with the next generation of the brightest minds, and some of them are going to look back and say it started at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the Indy Autonomous Challenge. A challenge